Welcome to Learn Golf with Cassie. Uh, you can see Cassie doing the intro for us. She's telling us that uh, she gets taught drills and she teaches you. If she can do it, you can. Um, today we're at the driving range and we're looking at trying to get a tension-free driving swing. Let's get into it. And so today, um, because of a technical fault with the audio, we can't hear what I'm saying, so I'm doing a voiceover. And basically, we're looking at um, trying to do a good driving um, swing. Cassie, um, in the last few course vlogs, has been struggling a bit with her driver because she's pulling her hands ahead of the ball, as you can see me demonstrating there. And she's also trying to work the hands over to try and make up for that. And so as a consequence, the ball is going low left hook. She's getting a fair bit of power, but if there's long grass in front, it's not going so anywhere. And you can see that on the videos we did um, in England. Uh, we had the Horton Park video, the Addington Court video, and also the Oaks Park one. You'll see she hit some great shots, but also that low right um, hooky shot. And because she's trying to pull the hands and get, she's trying to force the, the, the ball through and it pulls her hands too fast. So we're going to do a video um, on the uh, tension free swing. And we're starting with the video that we did a couple of weeks ago on getting a smooth tempo with the pitching wedge or lob wedge. So you can see I'm demonstrating a very smooth swing with a short. Uh, pitch to get that feeling of um, nice smooth tempo, letting the club swing down and letting it release all the way around and finishing high and facing the the aim point. And then we do the same thing with the driver. We're just trying to get that same feeling, letting the club hinge and swing through very smoothly without pulling and letting the club and the gravity pull the club past our hands rather than pulling our hands and trying to flip our wrists to catch up. So you'll see this shot demonstrated here, just an easy shot, hardly swinging, not much energy, but with the long club you get the club head speed automatically, naturally. We're trying not to be tense, not to pull, not to yank the hands through. And here's a, a, as you get that feeling and it's nice and smooth, then you can add a little bit more speed. Here's probably 50-60% speed and it flies up there and it goes out there. That shot went at about 220. Okay, so let's watch Cassie hit a couple of smooth wedges. That was a nice shot. And we'll see another one right here. She's got a nice tempo, letting the club swing through. And another nice shot. Let's watch one more. And I've asked her now to increase the pitch to about 60 yards, which is probably a 75% power shot. And she's got the feeling now, so we're going to go on to the driver. Okay, so you saw that she's still got a little bit of grab in there. Um, we're trying to make sure there's a freer release through the ball. And I noticed at this stage that she was closing the face by pushing her hands a little bit too far forward. We're trying to sweep this up. It's not like an iron where you push the hands a little bit further forward and she because she's been hitting her seven iron so well she's kind of playing this a little bit more of a, a hitting down which is the reason why that the ball's been flying very low as that one did also okay so we're going to see it down the line now to see where the ball's flying off now that one she managed to pop up a little bit um, and one of the things she needs to make sure is that she completes the body turn and the swing together all the way to a finish. Okay, I'm just going to step in to make sure Cassie is aware that uh, 
when she swings she's a little bit flat and so we're trying to make sure she hinges her wrists up a little bit and pivots and pivots a little bit early and we've done a video on this previously you'll see at the top there where the hands need to pivot a little bit earlier to give the club time to get to square with the speed of the swing if we pull it like the irons then her hands are too far forward and she has to rework the the hands to get them to catch everything up and the face to catch up but if we hinge and pivot a little bit further on the right thigh then it gives the club head time to get round to straight without us having to work the ball and then the, the club will come in a little bit less flat and the ball will fly off and sweep off a bit better so we want it around that right thigh so Cassie's going to have a go now. So Cassie's just trying to get that hinge a little bit earlier to allow the club head to catch up and be square. She's hit a couple of nice shots, but the she's kind of stopping. That one's a little bit better. She hasn't been turning all the way through and holding a finish facing down the target line. You can see she sort of gets there and stops and then re-hinges very quickly. Um, so we had, I mean, that one there went about 120 yards. There were still some low ones. It's really just making sure that we don't, we managed to get the looseness and the tension free to go all the way round. So you can see I'm demonstrating that you want to finish all the way round. You can add speed so you get better. So a quick wrap up from Cassie. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. We post on Mondays and Wednesdays usually. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time when we will be out on the course and doing hopefully some videos on putting and driving.